it's been kind of a rainy day. We should be getting more rain soon. This would probably be a good time to discuss weathering, erosion, and deposition. Weathering and erosion are two geological processes that involve how rocks and soil are shaped and changed. It involves how the surface of the earth is changed. In fact, there's a subject about that too, geomorphology. And there's a video in the description box. There's a link to it. I recommend checking it out. There is a difference between weathering and erosion. Both involve changes in the soil and in the rocks. Both involve different processes. Weathering is the breaking down of objects such as soil and rock, such as what we see here. We've got this crack right here. You can tell that there has been weathering due to things such as wind or, in this case, rain. Some rain. Got some moss growing in there. You have parts of this rock which are being broken down due to physical and chemical processes. Erosion is what happens when you have those objects being broken down and they're being transported via the wind or in this case water. You have soil and rock being broken down and then once it's broken down, it's transported. It's being moved. One more concept to understand is deposition. As you can see, you have soil and rocks that have been broken down and it's obvious that they've been transported. You have weathering and erosion that has taken place. And because of that weathering and erosion, you have deposition. These broken down fragments of soil and rock have been deposited here. Weathering, erosion, and deposition all play important roles in changing the shape of the earth, changing rocks, changing the soil. It's all about how things change. It's all about how dynamic the earth is. If you like this video, be sure to check out other videos on this channel. Check out the video about geomorphology that I recommended earlier. And as always, be sure to leave a comment like and subscribe.